everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do my pan nose eyeshadows update. I am super, super excited. I am going to be rolling out some shades today. So that is always exciting. And yes, I have brunette hair again. I'm very, very happy. So let's get started. Okay, so the way that I've been doing it, I've had five shades that I've rolled into this project. And then I've also had a focus palette that I've worked on for the month. Now for the focus palette, I've always wanted to use every single shade at least once. And I've wanted to use the palette 10 times. I'm going to be changing this. And I'm also gonna be changing some of my rules in some of my other projects simply because I wanna get through my eyeshadow palettes a little bit faster. So today, um, instead of 10 uses, I am switching it to five uses. A minimum of five uses, but you have to use all of the shades at least once because I just, I have too many eyeshadow palettes that I haven't touched this year. I, I recently did a video about it and I don't want the list to keep growing and growing. Um, and I don't want to sit on a palette for two months if I've already used all the shades. So that is what I'm doing. So before we go into the pan nose eyeshadow shades that I've been working on, I have been working on the Verdandi palette from Odin's Eye. I pulled this um, two months, no, last month, last month, and I didn't want it to roll on to another month. So I have used this five times and it's looking like this. It doesn't look too different. Maybe these shades look a little bit more used, but honestly, I've, I've really barely used these shades. Um, I've used the palette five times, as I said, but any time that I have grabbed this palette, that is one use in that day. It's not, if I use this palette twice in one day, that's two uses, that's still just one use. So that's the way I track it. But I'll put up on the screen how many times I use the shades and obviously what it looked like before when I rolled it in and what it looks like now. Um, this is out of the three Odin's Eye palettes that I received, I think this is the one with the best quality. It's not the one that I prefer in terms of color story, but the quality is so good in this one. I got two of their little mini ones and this one is better than the other one, but I'll talk about the other one in a different video. But yeah, this one I'm gonna be rolling out. I have used it five times. I don't want to use it another five times. I've used all the shades. There's not too much that you can do with this palette. It's not super versatile. So I'd rather just roll in a new palette that I can work on. All right, let's go through my list. This is not in any particular order. So let's start with the uh, not okay shade. This is from the whatever palette from Colourpop. So this one I've had in the project, I wanna say, yeah, three months now. So I will be rolling into my fourth month on this shade. I've used it four times this month. Last month I used it four times. And then when I rolled it in, I used it five times. So I'm still not at my 20 use goal on this shade. And it really doesn't look too different. It is the shade right here. It is one of their um, metallic shimmers and it's not one of the super powdery shimmers that ColourPop can have. So these types of shades I think are super hard to pan. <laughs> I mean, ColourPop is quite hard to pan anyway. I've used this now 13 times and it still looks the way it looks. It There's really no dent. I mean, you could kind of see that I'm using it, but there's no dent at all. So um, yeah, I'll keep it in for one more month. Uh, it's definitely not a shade that I particularly enjoy. It's very orange and if you have been watching my channel, you know that I haven't been into oranges all that much. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of flip there, but it's definitely, I feel like there's, it's not really a flip, it's definitely orange. <laughs> Let me just build that up for you. But yeah, that's the shade there and um, it's pretty metallic. It's, it's, it's one where I just use a tiny bit of it and then I'm, I'm good to go. There was one look when I used it as a liner and I liked that and that's, I got quite a bit of disturbance on the pan by doing it like that. So I might do something similar like that. Um, but yeah, this one is staying in. Next up is a shade that I've had in since May and I'm going to be rolling it out. And it is the Turkish Delight shade from the Desert Dust palette from Huda Beauty. And as you can see, I have no pan in it. I am gonna be rolling this out this month because I have hit, I have used it 18 times. And I do say, you know, my, my goal is to use it 20 times and then roll out. But what's the point of me using it two more times? I'm gonna be rolling it out. I just don't wanna keep it in for another month just to use it two more times. I don't see the point in that. And you know, 
I just want to uh, use shades that I want to use and I've had this in since May. I'm quite sick of it. It is a beautiful color um, and I used it how many times? I used it four times this month but I just don't want to use it anymore. It is just not something that I want to be grabbing. I really want to look at some other new palettes or just any other palette that I have in my collection, any other shades. So that one I will be rolling out because I'm almost at my usage and there's just no need to keep it in another month. Next up is from the Jackie Aina palette from ABH and it is the shade Shooking Turn. And this one um, I have used only twice this month and I only used it once last month. So it doesn't look any different, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't know what to do about this one. I, a part of me wants to stick it out, but I've only used it three times in the last two months, which is really not good. It's just probably my least favorite shade in this palette, I have to say. It's not something that is all that interesting to me. And I, I don't know, it's just, ooh. I'm in two minds about whether I keep this or not. Now the formula is really powdery and I've heard that it is a pretty easy shade to pan, but I have not been reaching for it. That is the problem. I think, ooh, I think I'll keep it in one more month. I'll do it. I'll keep it in one more month. I don't want to just roll it out because that's not the point of this project. So I'll keep it in one more month. I'll give it a good go this month hopefully. I mean, I am going to be traveling this month, so I'm not going to have all of my palettes with me. So the chances of me having a good update next time is pretty slim. However, I will keep it in for one more month and then we'll just see how it goes. All right, next up, I actually have a pan in this shade. This is the Hungry Ghost shade from Baby Got Peach. I rolled this in last month and it was the glitter shade and I was pretty um, confident that I could hit pan in this shade and I have. Now, I used this uh, first on my nails and that was that didn't get me to pan, but I was able to do a pretty nice um, uh, dip in the uh, the pan. These these glitter shades from ColourPop are super super malleable and creamy, so it it really doesn't take long. You just you know you do that, and then all of a sudden you hit, you see pan. Um, but then you know obviously I need to use it again to hit pan. So I did use it in one of my makeup looks, um, and I was able to hit pan in that. So yeah, I've only used it twice, and I hit pan. But I, that's a similar thing for some other glitter shades in other ColourPop palettes I've been able to hit pan after one or two uses. So that's kind of normal for me. Um, they're just not stiff at all. So yeah, this one I'm gonna be rolling out, thankfully, because what's the point of keeping a glitter shade? Um, so that's that. And then last but not least is the Chilling in Chicago from BH Cosmetics. I rolled in the shade Magnificent. And it is this one right here and I do not have a pan um, this one I have used four times, so I've only had it in for one month. I've used it four times. I definitely need to use it more. It's a pretty shade, but you know, I don't know. These have all been pretty metallic shimmers. <laughs> and I, I want something that's a little bit easier. Obviously I have the glitter shade, thank goodness. And I'm rolling out the Turkish Delight, which is right here. So I will have a little bit of a refresh um, so that's good. So I'll be rolling two new shades and also rolling again for a new focus palette for this month. So let's go do that. Okay, so I've got 838 shades that I can pull from. I haven't removed any shades. I've already got pan in or anything like that. Um, and uh, so we'll just, we'll do that if they're rolled. Um, the first one I'm gonna roll for is the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna focus on. Now, if it's an eyeshadow palette that I have already Put a lot of love into this year I will roll again I did recently do a video about all the palettes that I've neglected so if it's not one of those I'm just gonna re-roll um, so I've got one out of 838 so let's randomize 88 I don't know what that is so that is the Colourpop Miss Bliss palette which I have given a lot of love to this year so I'm gonna do that again 176 that is my Beauty Bay Book of Magic, so I'm gonna do it again because I have given it too much love this year. 209, just going up, it's going up, it's going up. That is the ColourPop Blue Moon. I actually have used all of the shades this year, so let's do it again. 
800. Okay, this is this is this is more like it. This is more like it. So number 800 is a brand new palette from me. It is the Beauty Bay Technique Days. So I will be, I'll pull that and I'll work on that. Okay, so now the next two rolls will be the shades that I want to roll in. So let's have a look. 5.30. So 5.30 is from my Natasha Denona Retro pa Palette. That's pretty cool. And then the next one is... 269. 269 is from Kaleidos Club Nebula. Ooh, okay. All right, let me just go pull that and we'll have a look. All right, so that didn't take long at all to get them. So the focus palette is the Techni Days from Beauty Bay. This one, I've only used this shade. I'm actually really excited that this has been pulled. It's very bright. It's obviously not leaning into full autumn time at all. It's very summery, but I'm, I, I like it. It's like the more vibrant version of their pastel palette that they have in this sort of form. And I haven't seen anyone talk about this, but I think it's, you know, obviously it's Beauty Bay. It's gonna have the Beauty Bay quality and I just think it's a lot of fun so I'm actually really excited this was pulled because I've been wanting an excuse to grab this palette and now I have one okay so from my Natasha Denona retro palette the shade that was pulled is Andy which is one of the cream shades which is right here which I'm not mad about at all I actually like it's a beautiful mauve like a matte mauve it's really actually kind of nice um so there it is if you can see it i think that is perfect for this time of year or like leading into this time of year obviously this uh palette is all mauvey so that's cool and then from my club nebula palette from kaleidos the shade celestial was pulled which is really exciting which is this one right here so it's one of these beautiful shimmers and i actually really like the shimmer so i think I might be able to hit pan in this. I'm already trying to hit pan in another shimmer in this palette anyway. So it just gives me a, another excuse to use this palette. Oh my gosh, those two are gonna go together so nicely. Let me swatch the rest of the shades that I have. All right, so these are all of the shades that I have right now. Um, this is the Not Okay shade from ColourPop. This is the Shookington shade from ABH. This is the Magnificent shade from the Chilling in Chicago BH Cosmetics. And then we've got the Celestial and the Andy shade from Natasha Denona. That is a really nice color story. I wish this one wasn't there and then that would be beautiful. I'm gonna be able to do a lot of looks and incorporate quite a few of these shades in those looks, which I'm really excited about because I feel like this was a little too harsh, but now this is a lot softer and I think more workable. So I'm actually super excited about this. And then if I want a little bit of color, I can always throw this in. So that is my update for the Pan Nose Eyeshadows for this month. As I said, I'm going to be away for a couple weeks in September. So I don't know how much I'm going to get done in my <laughs> all of my projects because I don't know what I'm going to take with me. Um, I will do a separate video of like pack with me or whatever, or maybe I'll do it in my shop my stash, a special shop my stash version of items that I know I can travel with. Um, so we'll see how much I can get through in the next few weeks before I go. Um, but I'm excited about these two new shades for sure because they are beautiful and I love these palettes. So I do not mind dipping my hand into them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like to, and I'll see you next time. Bye.